Hi everybody, I didn't plan on making a video today, but we're in the midst of our fourth nor'easter here in Pennsylvania, and uh, on the first full day of spring, which is terrific. I think we probably have uh, oh, close to eight inches already, and it's uh, middle of the day and still coming down. Uh, so in this video, uh, we're going to take a look at the napkin and uh pin and farina it was a joint venture between the two companies to design this the forever cuban writing instrument so i'll give a little more uh detail but i want to show you what it looks like outside first so here we have the beautiful spring weather here in Allentown, Pennsylvania. And I expect the uh, mushers and the dogs to be racing by at any time, delivering supplies to those of us who are trapped. Brandy, at least. All right, so I don't further mangle the Italian language. I'm going to read uh, some text that I printed out from the website. The new Cuban Forever from Pinin Farina brings a fresh approach to the concept of writing with a d dynamic and innovative form that will surprise you from your first use. And uh, just as an aside here, you can get the writing instruments separately without the base and if you do it comes in this form with a little cuban cigar type uh, container out of metal back to the text designed by sergio mori and featuring a unique ergonomic shape crafted crafted of recycled fine wood the cuban forever requires no ink no refills, no lead. Instead, the Ethernet, I'm sorry, the Ethergraph tip, which is this baby right there, um, puts down a line with all the soft, subtle shading of a pencil, but with the permanence of ink. The tip is a specially crafted alloy of metals designed to write with wear, without wearing down, making the Cuban Forever truly a lifetime writing instrument. Now this particular wood is cedar wood. And let's put that back in its container because I'm going to show you the writing instrument as it comes with a stand. So this is what arrives when you purchase the entire writing instrument and stand. They call it a pen. I guess we can get by with that, but this is if I can get this out of the container which it seems is impossible to do. Come on, baby. I had this out previously, and I guess I pushed it in too hard. There we go. Hey, well, that was easy. And just sits in its own pen stand or writing instrument stand, like so. Very, very cute and neat. Now, this particular wood is multi strato. How's that for my Italian accent? Multi strato. Also uh, comes in titanio, which is all black. It's a little hard to see through the plastic. 
as well as maple wood. Again, you'll you'll see pictures of this on the website. And let's do, as they say, a writing sample. We'll do it on some white paper to start here on my writing desk. Now, this produces, as you can see, like the result of a soft pencil writing. Uh, and it's supposedly erasable for a period of time, but then becomes permanent and also slightly darker. I have seen a video in the past on YouTube of someone writing underwater with one of these and it works just as well. Uh, I'm not going to do that with any of the ones that I have in stock, but uh, if I can find that again, I'm going to uh, link to that video as well. And let's go over here to my kind of buff colored note paper. And as you can see, it uh, actually shows up a little bit better on this. And this, let me write some poor cursive. And I said absolutely nothing there. Let's try his nibs. Pretty, pretty interesting. So if there's only one instrument, writing instrument, that you need for the rest of your life, I guess this is it, because it will never run out and will always be able to be written with, even underwater. Thanks for taking a look. And now back to the blizzard that continues outside. <laughs>